who are the unfaithful, man? Those that have, because what's faith? Hope, uh, hope in the uh, in the, faith is the substance of things not seen. The evidence of expectations being hoped for. Kind of, yeah, um, so like, yeah, I, yeah, I'm I'm trying, I'm that trying, yeah, I've had what was that? Uh, uh, Hebrews twelve. Um, Hebrews eleven and one. Get that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to butcher it. That's a huge scripture. Yeah. This is Hebrews chapter eleven, verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, man. And the unfaithful, they don't have no hope in, in, in the Lord, man. They don't have no hope that these prophecies are going to come to pass, man. So they're going to be destroyed. Okay? So it says, it says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right, they're going to die, man. They're going to die in their unbelief, man. You get all these jakes, these Israelites that walk by, laugh and scoff. All right, those people are going to die in their unbelief, man. That's why the scripture says, worry now how the wicked shall perish, but how the righteous shall be saved, man. Because don't worry about these people, man. They're going to die. They're going to, they want, if the Lord chose them to be the unfaithful man, if the Lord chose them to be a part of the two-third man, man, who the hell are we to, uh, to, to worry about how they're going to die, man? The Lord got plenty of things to, uh, to bring to these people, man. You know? Behold, saith Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's For, what's coming, man. That's what's gonna come here to America, man. The sword, famine, plagues, pestilences, destruction. That's all coming here to America, man. That's right. All right. To a, a to a city near you, man. And this is a this is a big populated city, Tampa. So imagine the things that are gonna be happening here. Just imagine if this shutdown uh, uh, begins again in, in uh, February fifteenth. And the, these government's programs stop, man. You know how many people are going to be losing their minds in Tampa? Go to the east side of Tampa, and you're going to see how many people are going to lose their damn minds, man. Word. All those damn Judahites and, and, and Levites that live out there and, and the Benjamites, man. All right? All the northern kingdom, the southern kingdom, all these Israelites are going to lose their damn mind, man. And they're the majority here in, in Tampa, yeah. man. And they're just, they're just going to come up and they're going to be, fuck this hood shit. We're going to yeah. go up into the hills. Yeah. 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 West Chase. Davis Island, West Chase. Head out to West Chase. Bay uh, Shore. Uh, Bay Shore. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, Citrus. And, and all these people, all these, it, it, they got, they people just keep moving into Tampa, man. It's, a, it's like one of the most, the biggest cities people just keep moving into, man. Yeah, so the Lord got great judgment to this place. Yeah, it, it, it's it's not as expensive as Miami. It's not as expensive as as Orlando, but it's still a big enough city, so there was stuff to do out here, man. You know, you're not landlocked like Orlando, so you got the beaches you can go to. You don't got to drive far to go to the beaches. You got amusement parks. You got uh, all types of things are here in Tampa. So it's a very, it's a very um, beneficial place for these people to move because they can do everything. The cost is this, not as high, like I said, of these other cities, and you still get the same pay as these other cities, man. You know? Cut. So it says, <coughs> excuse me. Behold, no, uh, verse 6. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Kind of. We read in Revelation, uh, the brother read it, man, that uh, wickedness has uh, reached, the wicked, the sins of this place have reached the heavens, man. All right, and we just read, the wickedness has polluted the, sit it said the, the whole city, earth. the whole earth, man. There's, there, there's nothing but straight wickedness around the whole earth, man. Imagine here in America, man. Here in America is the most wickedest place on the whole planet of, of the earth, man. All right? You get these Gasparilla uh, parades out here. All right? And you get nothing but women dressed like prostitutes. All right? We saw them earlier. They were standing on the curb, and we were like, man, that looks like a prostitute standing there, man. With the fishnet stockings, titties out, ass cheeks out. You had one walk by earlier, pull her pants up even higher. Her ass crack probably couldn't even breathe, man. That's how far the damn pants were up, man. But see, then you go on a Tuesday and a woman dressed like this, she's considered a prostitute. But you call them that today, you call them that today, and they'll be like, all right, that is, this is Gasparilla, man. That's the wickedness of these people, though. You know? Go ahead. Right. Okay, homos, these, these two fruit cakes walking by. Violent. This place is viler than the vilest, man. He saw it. It's just. Esau gotta go, man. How could you be gay, though? I just don't understand that shit, though. What the hell is wrong? On a day like this. How could you be gay, though? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, say after the Lord Yahweh. Hey, it's, it's a lot real quick, and then their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. Just like um, going back to the time of Abraham, and the or so like the time of Moses. And the Israelites, man, when they were roaming the, the wilderness for 40 years, man, they were roaming those 40 years because the time of the heathen wasn't, for, their sin wasn't fulfilled yet. 
All right, but what? But, right. And we're going through the same thing now, man. We're not going to be able to get into the kingdom of heaven until the sin, the simple works of all these wicked doers is fulfilled. And guess what? It's fulfilled, man. It That's says, why we see the prophecies coming to pass. It says everything, all these things have to come to pass before yeah. the, the kingdom of heaven can be established. Yeah. Isaiah 55, man. My word uh, shall not, shall my word that goeth out shall not return unto me void, man. The Lord said it and he spoke it and it's going to come to pass, man. And it's happening, man. Your wickedness is, is up, Esau. Your wickedness is up. All right? Therefore, yeah. saith the Lord Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Exactly, man. So you guys thought that, that a judgment was not executed speedily on, a, on those wicked acts that you were committing. Well, guess what? Now the Lord ain't going to hold his tongue back no more, man. And he's going to come to get you damn Edomites, man. That's right. All right? The Lord is, is, is nigh, man. Our redemption is, is, is draws nigh, man. All right? Go ahead. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. All right, who's the innocent and righteous blood? The, the elect, man, the prophets, the Israelites, man. We're crying out to the Heavenly Father, man. I believe there's one in uh, Psalms that says, how long? Oh, many, it's How many long, of them in there. Like, uh, five or six of them in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How long, bro? How long shall we have to long. deal with these damn uh, wicked people, man? Yeah. These damn uh, vile, decrepit people out here, man. How long are we going to have to continue to endure this, man? Hey, and guess what? The Lord is hearing our cries, man. He's hearing it, man. And he, he's gathering his troops. He's up there uh, uh, sitting in, that, in his chair, man, grabbing grabbing the ends of those arm, arm rests, man. Break, damn near breaking it off, man. He's so pissed off. He's ready to come back and let loose on you damn devils, man. Yeah, we're uh, we're signing crime. Yeah. Signing crime, as it says in uh, Ezekiel 4 and uh, 94. Yeah, signing crime. It's the same. Uh, so it says, uh, so it says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Fucking, this place is disgusting. What just happened? Look at that. Oh, is that? Hey, yeah, what is it? You forgot our pants? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot on a day like this? She's she naked? Just, uh, it looked like it. Yeah, she, this, I guess. I hope it was like, yeah. some, it was like, like cream shorts or something. Yeah, must be nah, that's a skin, man. Dog. Okay, this, play, this is a wicked day, bro. This that's, is a, wicked that's pure day. ass. There was no thong in that. Yeah, that was... That was abomination. <laughs> You can't do that, man. That's, this is exposure. Nah, they can't, brother. It's, it's, it's a day where it's legal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this song. Let it fly. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let it fly today. Go ahead. Well, let me read that again. It says, um, it says, um, behold, oh, uh, no, wrong one. It's locked here. Uh, behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Hey, we complain it, man. So you get these other Israelites group and say, ah, gee, man, all they do is complain. Complain, complain, complain. Hey, man, we supposed to be complaining. You ain't complaining about the abominations done in the midst thereof, man, and the Most High ain't coming for you, man. Right. You content with what's happening, and you want to continue in this folly, man. That's why IUIC signing up for health insurance for next year. That's why they're doing all that stupid shit, man. Yeah, health care. Hey, the scriptures say cry out. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to cry out, man. Complain, man. Yeah, complain, yeah. We're supposed to cry out and call out all the abominations in the midst thereof, man. It's like when we was kids and you, and you wanted that toy when your dad you complained to him, you want this, you want it, you want it, you want it, he just ignored you, and then finally he gives it to you. All right? Well, that's what the Lord's going to do for us. Because we complain continue. We want out of here. You want to stay. You you like it here. You like it in timeout. We want the fuck out of timeout. We want we want our, our, our world back. We want to see our big brother come back. Y'all don't care, though. Nobody else cares but us. That's why it says the just will complain continue. We're the just, Lord willing. Okay? The, the righteous and the just. Hey, well, that's why we stand out here boldly in the face of, uh, of our oppressors, man, because we're complaining and we're sick and tired of this shit, man. Just like when you get sick and tired of your wife, you've been holding it in, holding it in, and then guess what? You you go up and you confront your woman about what she's doing, man. Well, that's the same thing we're doing out here, man. We're tired of uh, fed up about, uh, of this shit, man, and we coming out here and calling out your wickedness, man. Straight to your face. Just it says, it says uh, verse 9, and therefore, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Uh, avenge who, man? The elect, man. Those that the, are the martyrs, man. Those that were beheaded for the, for the Lord's sake, man. Those that are, are, are signing, crying on the highways and byways, man. 
the prophets of the Lord. The Lord is going to come back to avenge us, man. All right, there ain't going to be much time that we're going to continue in this folly, brothers. All right, we're almost out of here, man. The Lord is about to come back and come to save those that, that are going to be saved, man. Yeah, because it says, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. So the innocent blood among among the Israelites, because there's going to be wicked cats out here. But he's going, he's going to get them hit. They're back into what we was beginning to, to think with. And, and, and it's, uh, it said the innocent blood is something that the, the elder... Um, Ariala uh, out there from Dallas said earlier today, all right, let, they're going to persecute us for for, uh, for being guiltless, man. All right, we're innocent, man. These people are going to persecute us for being, for not doing anything but preaching the word of the Lord, man. And telling you that your place is coming down, man. For that, we're going to be persecuted, man. And that's, that's the innocent blood, man. Right, because um, what? What? We're not. We're not going. We're not. Uh, we're not the ones out there starting, starting stuff, going in, in, into the Mr. Edomites and calling them names. No, we're not doing that. We're coming out here really doing right. our. It's a First Amendment right, right. Yeah. protected right. We're gonna come out here with the Bible. Now, if you don't like it, you can keep walking. If you if, if you do like it, you're welcome to listen. However, what we're doing is not illegal. So if you got a problem with it and you want to persecute us for what reading the Bible, go ahead and do it. We're blameless. We didn't do shit. So when you look at us and you look at the video. They didn't, do, they didn't really break no laws. They didn't break no laws. Okay? So you're persecuting blameless men. Okay? You can look at us in any way you want, but when you really break it down, those men didn't do anything wrong. Okay? So we're not going out there doing no crazy shit. We are, we're blameless out here. Like, like, like innocent. Um, blood, of, blood of the innocent. That's right, man. That's right. Hey, just like they persecuted Yahweh Shai, man. And they persecuted Yahweh Shai, and he was innocent. He was guiltless. Pontius was like, what, what did he do? I find no, yeah, no, no guilt in this man. He didn't do shit. You all what really want me to do him like? Y'all want to kill him? He didn't do nothing. So we didn't do that neither. We we are out here reading the Bible. Okay, we're not we're not, we're not coming out here strapped with got, got a, a, a semi-automatic uh, rifle on our backs. ARs. You know, we don't shit. got laser beams you know, out here. No, uh, bulletproof vests coming here. Bulletproof vests. I think camps do that. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, there's, a, there's a camp that goes out with bulletproof vests on. Cart, Amen right? to the Lord. Uh, they got daggers Zillots. on them. Zillots. Even though there, there might be some of them in there amongst that. Of course there is. No, they don't know but better. Yeah, they, as far as the whole organization, that's not what the Lord's looking for. Right? Gotcha. Uh, now go ahead. I'm for um, back in the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse uh, nine, no, 10 now. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer like I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right, man, and this is the land of Egypt here in America, man. All right, and our people are being led to the slaughter because they're getting uh they're getting uh, uh, deceived into believing that this is the way of life that we're supposed to go around doing doing the folly, all right, committing all this wickedness, all right? This is uh, this is the this is the lifestyle that our people really live, man. And they're being they unknowingly they're being led by this damn devil into their destruction, man. All right, because our people are sheep. They're the sheep of the Lord, man. Then sheep are just docile creatures. They're gonna follow the, the the shepherd that's leading them. And right now, Esau is the one that's leading these people, man. And he's leading these people into destruction, man, including his own people. And, and it says, um, "I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt," like we read earlier. Um, uh, you read in uh, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight, and I read in uh, um, and uh, Revelation eleven and, and eight, talking about um, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. That's America, though. Because why is it Egypt? Because what? We saw we saw hardcore captivity in Egypt, and we saw hardcore t captivity here in America. Okay. Again, we were talking about how this architecture of America looks like these uh, Greek empire, the, the Greek Empire, the Roman Empire. But look at look at some of these things. Also, look at the obelisk up there in, in Washington. That's from Egypt, shit, man. It's got Egyptian shit too. You know, look at the um, a lot of these. Um, the way these 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 men be bald in their face and all that that tattoos. comes from Egypt. The tattoos, yep. all that comes from Egypt, man. Go to um go to Las Vegas. They got the Luxor um uh, hotel, which is shaped like a pyramid. Yeah, yeah. You got you got you got pyramids all over America. Yep. And you got pyramids on the back of the dollar bill. Yep. The pyramid on the dollar bill. Mm -hmm. Uh, the the symbol of the New World Order is the all seeing eye on the triangle, man. The way they be burying people. They I just don't fucking wrap them yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. The eye yeah. The way they bury people. Yeah, they still yeah. embalm them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This place, is, this place is teaching. Yep. They bear them with all their rings and things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. That's all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get somewhere else. Read it up. Uh, Atlanta, Egypt, verse 11. 
I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. All right, as before. Now, you got to ask yourself a question. Are the Israelites over there in the land of Egypt to be for Egypt to get judged again? The majority of them. Yeah, the majority of them. Because you do got some Israelites over there, but not all. And if, and if there is some, it's very it's scant. Very few. Right? Yeah. Very few, man. And I can see too many chicks in Egypt. Yeah, me yeah. yeah. Man, I see Egyptians over here. There's probably more Egyptians in America than there are Israelites. In Israelites in Egypt. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's real. Um, but then, hey, this point being, this place is gonna get the plagues again, man. You're gonna have the, you're gonna have the, uh, the insects coming back. Yep. All right, you're gonna have frogs. Oh, you said, oh, you said insects. There was a um, recently the, the, the um, what was the, was the um, locusts again? Yeah, the Mecca over there. Yeah, they yeah. Locusts plague that place. They over there still praying. Oh, that's over the Mecca, right? Yeah, okay, Mecca, huh. yeah, yeah. Locusts swarmed that whole place, man. Wow, bro. Hey, and now uh, I found out something today, or the, uh, a couple weeks ago at work. There's there be these damn uh, fucking frogs, man. All throughout that damn job, everywhere, everywhere, man. And they oh, call them uh, Cuban, Cuban something. They call the frogs, but they're an infestation, and they're spreading here in in, in, uh, in this area of Tampa, man. They're they're killing other frogs that kill mosquitoes, and they're they're just invading, man. Uh, invasive species. Yeah, which is fucked up that they call them Cuban something because they they alluding it to Cubans uh, invading. Yeah, I see. You know, you know that's Esau for you, but you know, hey, the, hey, man, they, the plagues that are are gonna come back to to Egypt, man. You're gonna have those frogs. You're gonna have the the, the locusts. All right. You're gonna have the famines. You're gonna have the cattle all dying. But what? Throughout throughout all that, the Israelites were always good, man. Yep. Yeah, Israelites are gonna be straight. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. and straight. this time it's gonna be the elect, mm -hmm. the Israel of Israel. Israel of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot, a lot of the regular Israelites are gonna be dead. Uh, 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 get, get the pestilence, get the boils, and all that okay. shit. Hey, that's yeah. what Yahweh said. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. <laughs> Why are you waiting for them dress? that Yahweh has given me? You know, the Lord, the Lord was praying for the elect, man. The but world that was given to him. Though. He wasn't praying for all of Israel because all of Israel, two thirds, was going to get put to death. It's you written know? like that, and it's and, and hey, we have a, we have a, we have wicked people. We don't pray for a, we don't pray for the wicked of our nation, okay? We don't pray, we don't pray for for, for niggas, okay? All right. And we definitely don't pray for no other nation than these niggas, man. <laughs> Vile, bro. I turn around, I see your ass. Those are yeah, come on, man. Gay, gay dog. Yeah, he's in the bus driver said that shit. He's shaking his head. You know? But you know, anyways, you know, see this is the wicked place. This is Egypt. We had a we live amongst heathen out here. And these heathen are all these heathen are above us. Alright, all these heathen are above. And they're probably gonna stick around and come over here and fuck with us. But you know, it's all good. And like the brothers going into Egypt, if uh, it wasn't just the, the commoners that was getting it, even Pharaoh was getting it, all the plagues too, right? Yeah. They killed his firstborn. All, right, all that, all that things that the commoner Egyptian was getting, the Pharaoh was getting that shit too. And uh, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 11. The master and the servant were punished after one manner, and like as the king, so suffered the common person. Mm. God, so, so, so suffered the common person, man. Hey, and, and, and Donald Trump is gonna get it too, man. Yeah, he's Trump. he's starting to get it already, man. He's feeling that heat coming <laughs> coming on his neck, man. The heat's coming down on on, on Trump, man. He might be a, he might it, it's gonna get to a point. He might be somewhere locked up in one of the um in one of the uh, uh, uh bases or whatever, you know, trying to trying to avoid the, the destruction, and he starts getting boils on his body, you know, and they they're trying to hey, just like uh, uh 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 what's his name uh. And, Damn, uh, 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 uh he had all the foils. His own men didn't even want to be around him because he the stench was so bad, man. <laughs> he was eating grass and shit. <laughs> That's gonna happen to that nigga too. He's yeah. gonna get the same thing. He's gonna be somewhere like in the mountains, in, in um, well, well, Area 51 yeah, or some shit. Him, shit. Yeah, yeah, reincarnated. Yeah, they, they say it ain't even possible. Who knows? Hey, cause shit. Hey, but that dude ultimately he start he he praised the heavenly father. And, he was like, oh, you know what? This, that's the power. Of, the power of Israel is the true power, man. After he went through all that, they, he he re, uh, he recognized that the heavenly father was the true power. Yeah. So they're gonna catch these plagues, bro. These kings and all that, all these big kings and these rulers, they're gonna catch all types of hell out here. While the, but the elect, the um, the, the elect of Israel, they're gonna miss all that. You know, yeah. Lord willing, we're part of that number, so we can miss it as well. You know, you brothers that listen and you watch and, and, and out there on the highways and byways as well, making videos and the right doctrine. We're doing this because we 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 want us we want to live we want to get out of here, okay? Let me keep reading on yeah, this for a bit. By all means, this is uh, verse 12. So they all together had innumerable dead with one kind of death, 
neither were the living sufficient to bury them. <laughs> so there wasn't even people, enough people alive left to bury the, the dead. It said, for in one moment, the noblest offspring of them was destroyed. For whereas they would not believe anything by reason of the enchantments, so they, they refused to believe that the children of, of the Most High were the Israelites, right? It said, upon the destruction of the firstborn, they acknowledged this people to be the sons of God. So you people, these, these everyday people, they're going to acknowledge who the real Israelites when they start seeing the death and destruction coming to America. And they see the prophets of the Lord are good while people are starving to death. Hey, well, what, what was that? Um, is that in Jeremiah? Uh, where my servant shall eat? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. My servant shall eat, but you can't. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that was good. I, I could agree more, but you go ahead. Okay, I'll go back to the second Ezra. All right, Second Ezra chapter. If you find it, though, you can bring it up. Fifteen. Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse. Uh, where was he at? Where was he at? Um, Eleven. But I will bring them with the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues. And as we were saying before, Egypt is likened onto America. America is likened onto Egypt because what the Hebrews served hardcore slavery in Egypt. All right, and we're over here. We serve hardcore slavery here in America. Okay. okay. Did we not? I believe we did. All right. Facts. Facts. And uh, smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy the, all the land thereof. So it's saying, so this is not the same Egypt as, That's why as, I said as before. As before. As before. As before. It made it clear. It let made me, a distinction. Let me get the account. Come on, come on. This is uh, Jeremiah 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right, because, because we... We we still talk about we still talk about what Exodus, um, the, yeah, Exodus. Exodus. All right, how beautiful of a story that was, how great that was. The Lord did that. They make movies. They still make movies. Still about making it. movies. One that came out in 2015. Yeah. It was, you know what I'm saying? They still making movies about it. It's one of the most powerful stories of the Bible. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 15. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Right. Because we're not going to be talking about that story as much as we're going to be talking about the deliverance out of out of America. Yeah, the land north, of the north, north is here in America. Yeah. North, they call it North America. North. All right. It says, it says uh, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whether he had driven them. Because what? Israel scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. But the majority of them are here in, the, in, the, in Babylon the Great, which is America. That's right. That's right. All right. And it says, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Yeah, man. So we, we don't we don't got to go back over and fly to get a plane hey, ticket, man, fly over to America, I mean, fly over to um, Israel. And then that's how you know that those people over there in the land of Israel are not the Lord's chosen people. Because it said clearly... That the Lord will put us back in that land, man. And then say you're gonna get a Balfour Declaration, yeah, and you, we're gonna we're gonna place you in that land to the Lord's. No, yeah. if the Lord says he's, he's gonna physically put us back in our land, so all we gotta do, all we gotta do is, is keep the faith. What, what? Feed the sheep, do, do this work like we've been doing, all right? And then you're gonna see the prophecy start coming to pass. You're gonna see America start falling, crumbling. You're gonna see this dollar collapse. You're gonna see all the violence start coming out here in America, just like we've been telling you. All right, and then eventually the Lord's gonna destroy this place to bring His people back over to the land. All right. Uh, that was it on that, right? Right. Yes. I got that account, uh, though. My oh, service yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring that out. Bring that out. This is Isaiah chapter sixty-five, verse thirteen. That's what it was. Isaiah. Yeah. So yeah. Real, real quick, that, that's how they like we. I read in Wisdom of Solomon eighteen when the people will start catching hell, but the men of the Lord, the prophets, are good. This is how we're gonna be good. I know. All right, man. I know. All right, Shalom, bro. Isaiah sixty-five, verse thirteen. Therefore saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, yeah. but ye shall be hungry. Yeah, all these people out here, y'all gonna be hungry, man. They're gonna famine. be starving. They're in the famine yeah. of the, uh, of, of, uh, of food. Yeah. Hey, because we, we uh, there ain't gonna be no eating spiritually when and when the when famine of the world comes. Yeah, we're not gonna be out here breaking scriptures down. No, you but, know, but you it's talking have about physical. Yeah, yeah, that's talking about physical food. Yep. Yeah. That, like you said, you should have, you need to get it while you can right now because the buffet is about to be closed. Hey, well, even then, we. Because what the, the scripture says, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that time. We're gonna be fed spiritually too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. yeah but we're not gonna be. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But there's gonna be people starving out here because what they don't they didn't believe in what the words that we were telling them, which is the words of the heavenly Father and His Son. So guess what? We gonna be while we over there eating some some good uh, lamb. You know, y'all gonna be starving, looking for food, man. Read it again. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God: Behold. My servants shall eat. And we read that yeah, this place, uh, uh, America, those plagues are going to come back on Egypt as before. 
And we read, hey, uh, the locusts killed all the crops. Locusts killed all the crops. The livestock died off. The water was no good. Yep. All right, so, but, and we read earlier in Amos 3 and 7, the Lord, the Lord uh, surely doeth nothing, but he revealeth the secrets to the prophets and servants. So who the servants is talking about here are the prophets, man. Yep. The prophets are going to be good in the time of trouble. All right, when all hell breaks out on these streets, guess what? The prophets of the Lord are going to be good. Go ahead. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. You're going to be starving, hungry, famished. Right. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Yeah, y'all gonna be your lips are gonna be chat, your throat's gonna be dry. All right, no water in sight except for that murky water with with dead bodies floating in we're it. We're talking about the time when when America when there's nothing but anarchy out here in America, when there's no when there's no electricity, when when there, when, when there's nothing but uh, when people out here with weapons. All right, no nine one one. Yeah, no what nine one one. No, no food more. stamps. None of that. The American dollar has completely. Collapses. It's hyperinflation in America. No McDonald's. Everything is done. So you're gonna be starving. All right. If you're not doing this work, if you're not doing any work for the Lord, your Lord's gonna put you out there. And you're gonna starve. That's right. All right. But the ones that have that are, that are doing something for the Lord, all right, in truth and sincerity, keeping the faith. What? Keeping the faith. All right. You may not be a prophet, but you know, the Lord may have mercy on some other people. If you do some kind of work, if you tie to the, you know, to the elect. You know, or you, you know, you do some sort of godly work. Do something for the Lord. Yeah, you gotta do something for the Lord. You might eat, but the rest of the people out here are gonna be starving and thirsty. Go ahead. Because the because the, the one third is a big number. The one third, the rest of the one third outside of the elect, that's a big number of Israelites that's gonna be saved, man. You know, like humble people that come up sometimes. We have people that humbly come up and ask questions, whether it's a man or a woman. You know, they'll come up and like the the lady that came up earlier. The one uh, that shook all our hands, she, she didn't come up here with that, with because she says she was a Judahite. She didn't come up here like the regular old yeah, Judahite. She, she, she might not be Judah. <laughs> yeah, she, she might be something, she might be something else. else, but who knows? But who she knows? might be a lot of you know Yeah, but saying? she, but you know, she still, the point being, she still came up here humble. She asked specifically, can I ask about this? You know, and she went up about her way once we gave her the answer. She didn't fuck up. She didn't do none of that. You know, people like that, that's going to be, that might be a part of the number that gets saved. Who knows? We're out here for the elect. So Lord willing was, you know, and just because of this, you know, you know she may have got us. You know, man. So like, you heard that? You heard what the girl no, said? No, no, sure. She said, these are the guys. And then the girl in front of her, she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And just came off. <laughs> so, so they seen us. So uh, people see you. Yeah, that's you. H-O-Y, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're not affiliated. We are Israelites. We are Israelites. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, that word's out there, man. Yeah, it's right, made us famous, bro. Yeah, but, God uh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, My servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. That's right. When, when, when everybody's ashamed and, and scared to come outside, guess what? The prophets of the Lord are going to be rejoicing. All right? We're going to rejoice at the downfall of this society, man. The downfall of America. The, down, the downfall of the so called white man, which is Esau according to the Bible. Eat them. All right, we're gonna be clapping our hands, stomping our feet, man, and, and drinking some good wine to the destruction of this place, man. Hey, and these people are gonna be ashamed because they just they they it's gonna come back to their mind that they laugh, they scoff, they talk shit, they had evil thoughts towards us, and now they're going through those same things that we was telling them, and they was laughing at. So they're gonna be ashamed. They're facing.